sometimes we will receive raw plates with higher resolution. For certain reasons, we will convert a lower resolution for production. But we might revert the higher resolution plate for the quality reason at some point. Then those already done roto and paint will be a problem. If you just reformat the roto node, that will only resize the pixel data. That cannot preserve the highest quality of the result. Any paints in roto paint node are also the same too. If rework the paint, usually unable to get the same result. That's why I made RP reformat. RP reformat will resize the roto and roto paint nodes vector data, so it can preserve the highest quality as the roto paint node does. And also can keep the same result as the original. Let me show you how it works. This is a roto done in 2K. When it connected to 4K, apparently it won't work anymore. So I use RP reformat to upgrass my already done roto to match the new resolution. Input the resolution originally done on this roto node. Then enter the new resolution that wants to resize. Resize type should be the same setting how the reformat does. If not sure, use a reformat node and see if that can achieve the same result on both different resolution plates. Then just click convert. The new resized node will be placed next to the original node. And we'll write down all the information of the changes on the label. Easily to trace down the changes. Let's see the result. Let's compare the quality with only putting the reformat at the end of the Rota Paint node. See the blocky edges? That's the difference between resize pixel and vector. And the fact is, Nuke's wrote a paint note is all written by vector data. RP reformat also supports aspect ratio change. Let me use a reformat node and mimic anamorphic format. Pixel aspect as to and resize type as distort. In RP reformat, also put two under the new resolution's pixel aspect, resize type to distort. Convert. Put the new roto node to the anamorphic image. Check out the result. I want to share one thing that I use the most with the tool is clean up the plate. I am going to remove the crack on the road here with camera projection. So here is my match move camera set up with the ground geo. I am using a match move camera to project the plate on the ground geo. Then paint out the crack in UV space. Here is my paint result and those paint strokes. Mask out the area that I need. Reshoot with the match move camera. When I compare with the plate, the texture is too soft. So I have to increase my texture size to solve the texture quality problem. 
I put a reformat here and increased 4 times bigger size, which is scaled to 4. Then all my paint strokes and roto will be off. I will use RP reformat to fix that. You can see all my paint strokes will be placed back to the same place now. Compare the plate and the result. The painted texture got closer to the plate's sharpness now. Let's try to increase 8 times bigger this time. This time I have a more sharp texture for my ground patch now. Compared to the initial paint patch, the quality increases a lot, but it makes the process much easier to brass any size as I want. RP reformat can convert multiple roto and roto paint nodes at the same time. Just select all the nodes you want to convert and hit the convert button. The new one will be generated next to the original node. The tool supports any type of spline and paint strokes from roto and roto paint nodes provided. After converting, the tool will change translate, scale, center, and feather value on a spline. Paint stroke will change the value of translate, scale, center, source translate, brush size, brush space and effect. But the original node remains unchanged, so the user can revert back to the original anytime. It also won't change any value in the layer. People might usually link the 2D tracking or stabilize data to the roto node. In this case, you should link that to the layer instead of the spline or print stroke itself. If you really have the transform link, you must change the translate data with the new resolution too. The tool will not do that part for you. It will only keep the value or expression already in the layer. On the previous version, when converted to a new RP node, the connection of the tree will mess up. Users have to fix it by themselves. This had been updated on version 1.1. On version 1.1, it has a new connection knob on the panel. You can choose to keep the existing connections, or swap in the new RP node. This is all about RP reformat and the update of version 1.1. I opened a YouTube channel for all my Nuke tools recently. Like it if you like it. Drop your comment or suggestions below. Hit the bell button and please subscribe. You can also like my Facebook page for some developments or message me directly there. Enjoy!